George was at the plant, yeah. Booked up. Oh, God, yeah. He's worn out. I don't know where Burgess and I hadn't heard from Burgess. <laughs> Burgess and here. Kent's not here, is he? Kent's name Is Kent not coming in? Is Kent Grand Island? I'd like to call this meeting to order uh, of the Special Finance Committee, and we're going to be considering the budget. I'll ask you all to please rise. Council Member Cheryl Fontenot will lead us in an invocation, and we'll all recite the Pledge of Allegiance together. Father, tonight we just give you the glory and the honor that you so richly deserve. We thank you for your many blessings that you bestowed upon our parish and upon our people. Tonight, Father, we deal with the finances of Ascension Parish for the year of 2007. We ask in, in advance that you would bless this parish in 207. We thank you, Father, that you are the ultimate provider and that we're only the stewards. We ask you to help us to be good stewards. We ask you, as always, to protect our soldiers, both men and women, those that are abroad, those that are at home, all those who do service in this country to provide protection for the citizens that live here in the United States. We ask your blessings upon them. Father, we just ask your blessings on all those in this parish that are sick, that you would heal them. We ask all these things as always in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Ms. Roadhorse, if you would let the record show that Mr. Thompson, uh, Mr. Sheck Snyder, and Mr. Valentine are not here tonight. There are no chairs additions. As always, uh, item number four, the public comment period. We welcome the members of the public who are here tonight, uh, and, and we're glad that you're with us. Uh, let's see. That would be uh, the two of you. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> but we really are glad you're here. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Um, and if there are any comments that you want to make, we welcome them, and you're encouraged to do that. And Ms. Cinnamon Roadhorst, our secretary, has some sign-in cards, and you can sign in and speak on whatever agenda item you like. Since we only have one left, uh, that will make that kind of easy on you as well. So we'll move right into... Uh, item number five, that's the discussion of the 2007 budget. This was presented at the last finance committee meeting. And, um, well, why don't I just begin by calling forth our uh, treasurer and chief financial officer, Ms. Gwen LeBlanc. Gwen, would, would you just kind of come up uh, to the lectern here? I know you're, you're comfortable and got your stuff situated, but uh, could you come to the, to the lectern and just maybe present some highlights and... Uh, we see several members of the staff. Mr. Rue is here with DPW. We have the Chief Administrative Officer, Mr. Don Heisel, is here. Ms. Martha Collins is here, and she can address grants or, um, or, or different, uh, some of the different endeavors that she is working on. Parish President Ronnie Hughes apologizes uh, for not being here, but he had a previous engagement. At, he's at a neighborhood co community meeting tonight um, uh, talking to the residents there, and so he sent ample representation to, uh, to take his place. But we're going to be looking at that. This is the, uh, this is the 2007 budget that we're going to be living f with uh, for an entire year. Uh, there was a brief presentation made at the Finance Committee meeting uh, in October. But, uh, Gwen, are, are there some comments or uh, information that you want to give us? Well, just I can just brief you real quick on where we stand with the 2007 budget. Uh, what we had reviewed the, in October at the finance meeting that the stability in our revenues is maintained by our sales and use taxes and our ad valorem taxes. That represents 80 percent of our revenues budgeted for 2007. And the revenues actually remain basically the same as the increases realized in these ad valorem taxes and in the property taxes. Well, they were adjusted in the 2006 amended budget, so that's what causes the revenues to be basically the same. Um, and of course, ad valorem taxes increased due to reassessment by the assessor of the parish, and um, 
the on the expenditure side and of course as always I want to remind you that our budget has two two components the operating budget and the capital budget so uh, we budget accordingly like that uh, the operating budget expenditures remain basically the same as the 2006 amended and then the capital budget is mostly uh, funded by fund balance this year because we you know in the past when we sold bonds and all the revenue was considered revenue when the bonds were delivered and therefore it fell into the fund balance to be used in subsequent years for capital projects so the uh, operating budget for 2007 is 46.8 million with expenditures of 43.8 million the capital budget is um, the revenues are 3.2 million in 07 revenues plus the use of the fund balance of 22.4 million with expenditures at 28.4 so our total budget both operating and capital is uh, revenues of 72.5 million and expenditures of 72.3 million the sales taxes and the revenue side on the operating budget the sales taxes by themselves represents 55 percent of all the revenues in our operating budget property taxes represent 25 percent and that together is the 80 percent of revenues other revenues are from intergovernmental licenses and permits interest earned and miscellaneous and then fines and forfeitures is a small portion on the expenditure side of the operating budget uh, most of it is found in public works at 13.5 million uh, 10 million in general government health and welfare 8 million public safety 5 million <coughs> debt service what we'll pay on our debt service in 07 is 4 million and recreation and culture 1 million that's the majority of the 43.8 million in operating then when we switch over to our capital budget like we just went over with the, the revenue is primarily funded by the uh, fund balances in our capital project funds and that was 22.4 million for a total of 25.7 so the majority of the funding provided in 07 for this uh, rather aggressive capital budget is funded by the fund balances in those respective capital budget funds the expenditures are uh, road construction and east ascension drainage make up the public works uh, component and that's 22.1 million public safety which is basically our the fire districts of our parish and our jail construction fund 3.5 million health and welfare is uh, 1.7 and intergovernmental expenditures 1 million total expenditures of the 28.4 million if there's you know I don't know where exactly your plans are to go from here but that's a brief recap of where we are at this moment all right thank you Gwen uh, Cinnamon would you show please that Councilman George Valentine is present with us tonight. I guess why don't we start off if does anybody have any questions or comments about the budget and, and, and let's let's start from there and, and maybe we can answer whatever whatever concerns are there mr todd lambert he's chairman of drain yeah miss gwen no uh, we had moved several months back on uh matching the 25 percent match on the mitigation buyouts and it's going to be probably six or seven hundred thousand we can get reimbursed for it but we need to make sure it's in the budget right for the drainage. We, we picked up that motion i talked to miss Truro. she met right. with us at the meeting right. yesterday and, and see what we'll do we're not we're not going to going to change this booklet what we'll do is call the public hearing which you have done for november the 16th and then thereafter we'll present any amendments or okay. changes to the budget before adoption and that's one of them as well as the uh funding for the bicentennial okay would be another that's the only question i have right now mr chairman <laughs> Mr. Savoy, I know you had several um, comments that you wanted to make. Others, Mr. Chairman, I was hoping some others had some questions that could possibly answer mine, but if not, then I'll, I will. I will go ahead. Um, there are some. Some I, I did review the budget, and unfortunately, I have not had the opportunity to meet with Ms. Su uh, Gwen LeBlanc privately to answer some of my, I think, uh, general questions. Uh, I am working to turn around and. Um, 
time is very hectic for me right now. But uh, and I'm, I don't. I got a rough draft on some of the things. Unfortunately, I didn't summarize it, so I may be fumbling a little bit here. And Mr. Chairman, uh, are we going to have an opportunity to discuss the budget at another meeting, like for instance the next finance meeting? Is or what's the time frame here? The public hearing for this is called. Is it the 16th or the, the 16th, 17th? Right. November the 16th. So we have a. a so we do have we do have another okay. finance committee. Actually, what um, I was hoping that what we could accomplish with this meeting tonight is to uh, to make certain that everybody has a very good idea of what goes on in there. Uh, a number of us are, are still fairly new on the council, uh, and Mr. Joseph, um, uh, I'll forgive you if your eyes start glazing over, because mine did for about a year, uh, or two years maybe, before uh, before I could understand. It's very difficult to understand this, and uh, and it still is. Some of, some of the things are, are pretty difficult. My hope for the meeting tonight was that we could kind of get an idea of what was in the budget, how much was allocated, where things were coming from going to. Uh, obviously, there are projects in in here, and I shouldn't even bring it up, but I'm going to because it's a hot potato. Uh, Lamar Dixon's in here, uh, different things like that. I know y'all are going to want to discuss that. Um, I was hoping that everybody would uh, if not necessarily be comfortable with what's going on in there, but at least know what's in there so that uh, then you could raise uh, appropriate questions uh, at a later time. This is really more of a learning experience. I don't expect any of us to, to come up with any sort of a recommendation or, or any motions tonight unless there's, there's something absolutely in here that you don't want in here or absolutely that you do want in here that's not there. So. Um, that, that's really, if, if you're looking for a scope of, of what's going to go on tonight, that's really where I envision this meeting to go to tonight, uh, Mr. Savoy. Okay. Uh, and I, I will start, Mr. Chairman. Uh, some things that raises a flag with me, I, and I'll ask for answers from administration. If they can't give it to me tonight, that's fine. They can give it to me uh, as soon as they can. Um, the only thing I'm going to ask, uh, when, if any of you have a question that you want to raise or, 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 or anything like that, would you please reference the tab that you're referring to and the page that you're on so that the rest of us can flip to it. Thanks. In the 2006 amended budget, uh, y'all probably y'all may not have that. This is something. That's up at the beginning of the book. I think he's got that separate sheet that was there, and there was also a separate sheet that was passed out at the last um Are you talking about these amendments, Mr. Savoy, that were passed yeah. out at Yes. This was this was distributed to everyone at the last finance committee meeting when the when the budget itself was presented. And it just says 2006 amended budget, and there are just a few items on there with some explanations. And I'm, I'm going to need some further help on where are we at with amending the 2006 budget? Did, well, we call, did we call the public hearing? Did we have the public hearing? That's, all, include, no, that's no. all the same animal, is it not? Right, we, we amend the, all gonna be the same. We're going to amend the 2006 amending. budget and adopt the 2007 budget at the okay. same, in the same stroke. Right. Okay. In the 2006 amended budget that's coming to us uh, for uh, action, probably in November or December. Um, November. Just to recap some of what's being said on this right here is 2006 operating budget is projected to end in a better financial position than anticipated. That's important for us to know because that tells us that we got some additional dollars coming in that we could possibly put on some projects. Okay. Um, one thing to to um, focus on is it also in here the Lamar Dixon fund provides the ability to exercise the option to purchase the Expo Center now that is coming to you in the 2006 amended budget which states what you're doing is you're voting to move forward with exercising the purchase of Lamar Dixon with this amendment with it in the amendments I think that's important for everybody to understand what you're voting on um. It may, this may be semantics here, uh, but what this what this is specifically saying here, and there may be some legalities to it. This just says it provides the ability to exercise the option. This puts into the budget that amount of money necessary to exercise the option to lease purchase Lamar Dixon Expo Center. Just because it's in the budget doesn't mean you have to spend it. And um, just because it's a budgeted item doesn't mean that the authority is there to spend it without council approval. 
So what this is, it, it gives you the ability to exercise the lease purchase. It doesn't necessarily exercise. It's just putting the money there for it. And from what I understand, with, except for one environmental study, we're just one environmental study away from receiving the $250,000 allocation from Senator Vitter. That, and that. I, I would like an update on where we're at with that, uh, because that was an issue and a concern I had that I, and a question I was going to bring up as far as where we're at, because, I mean, we, we cannot use that money at, as of today. As of today, no, sir, it's not here. Um. I might add, Jerry, uh, that in our home loan charter, that an act required in an ordinance is when you the, when the parish acquires real property on behalf of the parish. So, you know, like Martin said, if it before it's exercised, it would have to come back as an ordinance. Okay. <clears throat> That's right. All right, Gwen. On let's go to the public notice uh, budget hearing. And it's, it's, it's also a handout that was given to us, okay? Uh, a couple of questions under capital project budget. Uh, you've got intergovernmental grants. Cheryl, that's this. On the capital project mm -hmm. budget, you've got intergovernmental grants. Uh, 2006 amended budget is 265000 Year 2007 budget is 2290000 I need an explanation on where this, what grants are we talking about? That's basically the STAG grant. It was budgeted to be expended in 2006 in accordance with a June 05 reallocation of funds in the STAG grant, and it, it was not spent, so therefore it's being carried over to the 2007 budget. Uh, I guess what's throwing me off is why is it not uh, showing that as, as of the 2006 amended budget? That's why. I would have thought I would it was seen. in the 2006 budget. We're amending it down because we're not spending it, but we're rebudgeting it in 2007. Okay. All right, if you go down to the next uh, expenditures, uh, under public works, uh, we're amending the 2006 budget to 11942000 and for the 2007 budget, we're budgeting 22100000 Explain that. That's uh, basically public works that consist of the East Ascension Drainage Construction Fund and the Road Construction Fund. That's the amount of projects that were not completed, that were budgeted in 06, but were not completed, so we're carrying them over to 2007. And just those two construction funds. Okay. Yeah, and the supplemental information in the back of your, your budget book you can see what ones that are carried over. We broke down new projects versus the ones that are being carried over. Okay. That's that last blue tab. Yeah. Exactly. In your big budget book. I have Amanda making some copies. If some of you don't have that, what, what Mr. Savoy was referencing, Ms. Barat's making some copies for us right now. Uh, now I'm going to go to the budget message that was handed out to us. That one you got. And I'll go to page two. On the personnel, they've got in here salary increases of 5% allowed. Uh, need a clarification on exactly what administration uh, and the parish president looking at doing with this 5%. Uh, because we're having some employees come to us thinking that they're getting a 5% raise. Okay. Exactly what is this 5% allowance? Okay, HR told us to put 5% allowance to provide for any raises. As you know, the uh, hourly people in DPW are on a step and grade increase, so theirs could be a little bit less or even more than 5%. So it's just an allowance for each fund that we just, after we figured out all the salaries, we just added 5%. Now, how much of a raise will that equate to? I don't know, do you know, Ms. Heisel? No, just an allowance in case there'll be, it says there'll be some there for promotions later on, which is never in there. How much, how much additional, what is the 5%? What, how much did we put in the budget for that, to account for that 5%? 
she'll get it. I know. Okay. I, you don't, I don't need the answer tonight. Okay. Just that, that's a question I had. But okay. I think the point of your question is when, when people see it, when employees are seeing a 5%, they're assuming right. it's a 5% across the board. Right. And um, which it could be, or it could be some would get more, some less. Although I doubt, seriously, I don't, I don't know that anybody is in line for more than a 5% raise uh, that I'm aware of. And, and again, just because it's in the budget does not mean it is going to be spent or, or needs to be spent. It, but it, it gives us that allowance and that flexibility to do so. Well, I know HR department is, is working on uh, reevaluating the pay scale. and um, it, are they, Can we anticipate them coming to us in 07 with the new pay scale? And that's why I was thinking maybe there was some correlation between the new pay scale coming and the five percent. One thing I'm not sure of, Don, and maybe you can answer that. Maybe Gwen, when um, when when do pay raises or, or salary adjustments become effective? Is this is this a January one sort of a thing, or are we, you know, on the on the anniversary date of the employee uh, when they're evaluated? Uh, when when do we gen generally grant salary adjustments to employees? There in January, that they put in January. They're not on anniversary dates. Everybody gets whatever it is at one time. So the January, yeah. beginning January one. That's that's when it. It's and it's basically not. It, it's basically a cost of living increase. There's no evaluation on them. Okay. All right. Also, it says in here that the ju the juvenile center uh, reduction in cost by approximately two hundred thousand dollars for rehabilitated juveniles. Have we gotten a handle on how that? reduction came to be was there right. any programs implemented that they were sending them through or, or I, I did speak to the court administration straight or jesse leblanc and she sent out a written letter and a, i think i might have emailed it to you we, we received but, that reason apparently yeah uh, we we've been sending or, or trying to send juveniles there and and the beds are not available they um, have closed a couple of wings or at least one maybe two wings at that center and they said, uh, you know, that there's they're not opening them again right now. So they're full, you know, more than normal. And so our juveniles or some of our juveniles have not gotten in. They're using the ankle bracelets, the yes. security ankle bracelets, and trying to put in the, the ones that commit the worst crime. Right. Okay. This so although we budgeted the same or a little bit more for 07, if they decide to open the wing, there's a potential that, you know, it could go back up. Yeah. Uh, the next thing that caught my attention is, um, you know, coming from the general fund, we, we approved $150,000 to Tour Center for the Bicentennial <laughs> Celebration. Yeah. Um, and I support that 100%. But if you remember, if you got the Lamar Dixon uh, 2007 perspective events, you remember you, we got that at the last finance meeting. It, it had it showed some of the uh, events that's already coming, that's already booked up. If you look at it, under the Ascension Bicentennial, it shows that their estimated income is going to be $50,000. Now, we, we want to look at this. I think we need to look at this very closely because as a governing body, we're authorizing $150,000 to be spent on a birthday. Then on the birthday we're looking at making fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars it, it, it kind of looks double dipping uh, uh, if we can talk with smg and and lamar dixon to see this should be zero if it's a birthday and you want people to come it's not there to make money the birthday is not there to make money so that really caught my attention uh, and that's something that as, I as well it should and, and i appreciate your your catching that the the exact motion read that um, we were authorizing the expenditure of up to one hundred fifty thousand dollars for all allowable legally allowable expenses uh, because um, we we met extensively with our finance department and with the uh, our legal counsel about what could and what could be could not be expended. Uh, public fund. So again, just because it says it's 150,000, we are we're prepared to commit up to that amount as long as it's for legally allowable uh, expenses. So that means that of that 150,000, none of it can go to Lamar Dixon. 
none of it will be payable to them. And I understand that, but uh, and I understand the difference. It's just that Lamar Dixon is looking at making some money off of the birthday, and we own it. it we should break even. I, I believe Lamar Dixon needs to break even, but not make fifty thousand dollars. That's that's just the red flag that was raised whenever I saw that. Okay, thank you. Well, in fact, I, if if our chief administrative officer, would you make a note of that, Don? And yeah, I, and I will. And I don't know. Uh, uh, Captain said, well, if that's a profit for him, and I'll check into it, maybe to, to meet their overhead for the event. So. And that's what, no, no, they're saying this is income, estimated income. Yeah, okay, well, I'll check into it. I, I don't. Yeah, I, yeah. I believe in, in, in breaking, at least breaking even. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It, it may be fine. Okay. That's, that's fine. I mean, that's, that's just one of those items that we need to clear up. Right? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Uh, on page three of the budget message, it's got 2007 budget provides for $3,096,000 in revenues from state and federal and state grant sources. Um, do we know anything about what we're going after as far as these grants right here? Yes. Uh, if you look in supplemental information on page um, 11 of That's that the last, last blue tab yeah. in your big book. This is this is a listing of the grants individually and by fund of what's in the 07 budget by revenue and by expenditure. Uh, wait a minute, Ms. Gwynn. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at my my supplemental. And it's blank. No, the, it's in front of that tab, Jerry. It's followed by another tab that says general. Look on, and go back and look at page 11. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry. It is behind that tab, but then after that, it's it's uh, there's a white tab for general information, and then it's in there. I'm sorry. Okay. And what page, Miss? Eleven. Eleven. And it lists the grant by fund and the revenue and expenditure for each. Okay. I'm satisfied with that. Go back as far as page four. We got uh, we're going to budget again for 2007 for the state grass cutting, and they're going to uh, 278 thousand bill. Can you help us out as far as what do you think is cost actually costing us to cut the state roads the way we've done it in the last couple of years? Uh, 369 thousand, more or less. We met with the auditors of DOTD yesterday. Uh, they're going to be uh, finalizing their audit next week to see, in fact, that that is the sum that uh, we are spending. And after that, they can make a determination if they're going to raise their uh, their uh, money to us for doing grass cutting. It's, it's going to be up to them after that. But we should know uh, something from them next week. Okay. Page six. This is something that I'd like to have a follow-up coming from mental health. I guess uh, the new drug court program became fully functional in 2003. Can we get an update on, on where this program's at and what's it done? Uh, what's the success story or failure, whatever? Okay. Yeah. We'll get with the mental health director okay. and get you a recap of that or update. She's already on the agenda for uh, tomorrow night's meeting. Um, if she has. That's time. too late. No, I mean, I, I'm not in no big hurry for it. I mean, she can get. And, it but late. the parish president told me he wasn't sure whether he was going to have her make that report or not. So. Uh, okay. On page eight, on the note, this budget includes a state appropriation that will propose to be spent on the development of master plan 
for the undeveloped land at Lamar Dixon with the possibility of consolidation of some parish locations at this site. What what does he mean by uh, consolidation of some parish locations? Do do we have a idea of what's what he's talking about? I'll find out for you. The state appropriation is the sixty-five thousand. Yeah, I know that, but uh, consolidation of some parish same. location okay. at this time, I, at this site. I'm sorry. Okay. 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 page nine which it falls under water wastewater fund but it's on page nine you've got revenues for 2007 are one million five hundred nine thousand of which a hundred seventy five thousand dollars is anticipated from franchise fees uh, I, I take it that the remaining is coming from the stag grant uh, revenues no oh yes right we're in the water wastewater fund right yeah that's where right. the rest of it's coming the okay And this is that June 05 motion right below it, where you redirected the proceeds. Right, okay. Project. On page 9, it's got a uh, paragraph, the second to last paragraph. In spite of glowing headlines of increased sales and property tax, our needs in the parish are far greater than our available resources to meet these needs with the exception with the possible exception of major drainage I, I, I got a question I just put a question mark with with the possible exception of major drainage uh, I think well I can't speak for the president but I think uh, his intent was that it's a uh, perpetual funding that's coming in so that eventually there should be enough money to meet the needs of major drainage the half cent sales tax funded uh, that's all I've got there and I do apologize for not being a little more organized here. Mr. Savoy, you seem remarkably organized. Huh? <laughs> uh, there's two issues that I was really wanting to hit on, and you hit on one of them, which is Lamar Dixon. We, we need to have a serious dialogue on Lamar Dixon from where we've been 